Mike Zero, Foxtrot, X-Ray Bravo, M0, FXB, making this video. M0 FXB, so you want to get DV switch on your laptop or computer and your Android phone. So first thing you want to do is go to this HTTP address here that I'm circling and it will give you a, a file that looks like this. Um, the main one you need is the one at the top here where it's DV switch server light with the image that you need to put on a SD card. To do this you want to use um, Bellina Etcher is what I use. So Google that, download that, and you'll end up with a window like this. So um, select the file. Um, I've already started doing it so it's it's in the process of... Uh, let me remove the file here. Flash from a file. Double select the file. Select the target. So that's when you select your F drive. And then once you've done that, then just click flash. And you'll have the um, image on the SD card. Then go to PyStar Builder. I probably used it before, uh, which is here on PyStar. And then go to PyStar Tools, Wi-Fi Builder. Put in your username and your password of your router here. Uh, click Submit. You'll end up with this file. Go to Show in Folder. Right-click it and send it to the same SD card. And that's going to help you with uh, get, getting the thing working wirelessly. So once that's done, take the SD card out and put it into your Pi, Raspberry Pi, hopefully a, a one with uh, Wi-Fi built in. Um, now, next thing you could do is uh, add a program like this called IP Scanner, where you can scan your network and find one that's called uh, DV Switch. Um, if you can't find it, then um, try plugging an Ethernet cable into the the Raspberry Pi you've got and um, plug it straight into your router, see if, if you can find it. So anyway, once you've found it, then you need to go into the, um, the sort of uh, talk, start talking to the Raspberry Pi. So you've got the SD card in the Raspberry Pi now and it's fired up and you've, you've managed to find it and the, uh, the way you know you've found it is when you put in the 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 IP address in the IP scanner, you you can put the IP address and you end up with this window here, which is the uh, the DV switch window. Now you won't have any information here yet, um, so um, uh, we need to configure it on your phone first to talk to it. But anyway, so you've done that. Um, so first thing first, get into Putty, put the IP address that's here into here, click OK. And then we'll start the process of talking to the Raspberry Pi and updating it and getting it linked up with with uh, with DV switch. Okay, so what it's made me do is put in the password twice, and just remember you don't see what you're typing, and that that's what uh, can throw you. So the username is D, is DV switch. I haven't changed that. Click enter. And then now I'm going to enter the new password that it made me type in twice. And I should then log in. Okay, so now at this point you type in sudo, S-U-D-O space R-A-S-P-I middle dash config hopefully I've typed that right I'll just double check so I've got that here um, see it here sudo raspy dash config this piece here so go back to putty which is there and I'll click enter I'm just going to double check it's recording because you know what I'm like yeah, we're definitely recording. I'm going to click enter. And so now it's going to take me into this uh, system here. So I'm just going to double check what I need to do. I'm just going to push enter to see what it does. Now.
No. Right, we've got an option to select UK here. So, <clears throat> uh, come on, England. Probably went straight past it. La RSTU, isn't it? <laughs> so, where's United Kingdom gone? Well, Great Britain? Ah! There's United States. Okay. Go back up. Ukraine? Could be under Great Britain. How annoying. <clears throat> British and Indian Territory. Wow. Oh my god, there it is there. So, that took ages. Fast forward <laughs> past that bit. Click OK. Oh, I might be able to get my Wi Fi details in there. That'll help. So, um, I need to remember it myself. So I got the SSD in there. Password. Okay. Mm. Interface options. Well, I got my network in there. I'm not actually sure what I'm doing now. So. I don't think I need to update now. So I'm just going to go finish. If I can get to that. Finish. Click reboot. Yeah, and it does that when you reboot, I think. It's not going to let me type now, is it? So, I'm just going to tie something that I think you have to do. So I'm going to log in again. One six eight dot one dot one zero oh six. Log in using Putty. And then we got my password. Enter. Uh, password logged in. Now this time I'm going to put in DVS, and I'm sure this is how you put in all your ham stuff. DVS. So I'm going to enter that. Right. And just check this is recording because this looks like it's working good now. Yeah, we're recording. So. Well, I don't really need to change the language, do I? Because the language is English. So I can click no. Uh, initial configuration. Yeah, we need that. So. This process will ask for your call sign, da da da. So we'll go enter, call sign, M0FXB. And it's case sensitive. Okay, well, put it in there, M0FXB, I've used capitals. 
DMR ideal. Come back, Carlos. Okay, DMR's in that. Yeah, it adds these numbers on its own, doesn't it? Well, I'll let it, it's put in one and one, so I'll just let it do that. D star module B, keep it as B. Don't use NXDN, don't use that. Now, choose your server. So it's usually UK, isn't it? Two, three, four, one. Click enter. Um, now, do I go back? So, yeah, I got my password. Okay, click OK. Now, do I have to do any of this? I don't think I have to do any of this. So I just, that all looks like I don't need to. So I just go OK. Input for initial configuration finished. Configuration will start. Click yes to continue. So let it do all that. So if you look at DV switch now, and just click OK. Let's just gonna OK. That's done. So I think I'll click out of that for now because I know that worked. Now look, if I if I on the screen now, look, just turning it up. You can see. Sorry about this. That we've got DV switch now receiving something. So we've done something right. If we hit RX monitor here. It does say that we're not linked, so I don't really know how to link yet. Um, so let's go DMR. DM, we've got DMR. I think what I might do now is try and use my phone um, to link into this. This is more of a dashboard. So we're going to stop the video, fire up my phone and see what happens. Right, I'm just gonna put in uh, these three things here. I'll start off with sudo um, apt update. So s, let's click here, s-u-d-o apt update. Click enter. Let it, can you see it's doing its thing there? The one after that is called upgrade. So it's S-U-D-O. Click it here first. S-U-D-O. Space A-P-T. Space. Upgrade. Hit the enter. <clears throat> Let it do that, and then the last one is pseudo reboot. So I'll just click yes. Let it do whatever it's doing. The uh, I've got the app downloaded. This is what the app looks like. Hopefully, you can see that. Just putting DV switch into the Play Store. <clears throat> right, see that's finished. It still looks like it's doing stuff. So the settings that you have to put in in config. Uh, status accounts dialer register not sure what that means right 99% now the settings are this have a look this is what I've got in mind. 
uh, once this is all done. Hopefully you can see that. In the account section you put in the IP address of your DV switch and you and and then what you're meant to do when you've got it all correct you hit the word register it says register on there and then it'll, it'll you'll know when it's registered because when you go to accounts it will say registered it was when you go to status like my status is not registered when you've done it right it will say registered once you've got it registered when you hit macro in the middle it says macro in the middle you can choose uh, the mode you're going to use so I'm going to use uh, talk group uh, you've got a few selections there, but for now I'm just going to get it on DMR, um, but I know it will do more than that, so talk groups right at the bottom. So we're just trying things out, see how we get on with it. Um, so we've got partial success because we have got it, we are linked to the Raspberry Pi. I've got one more thing to put in, which is sudo. Um, yeah, sudo reboot space reboot. It's the last thing I've got to put in. Then I'm going to try and get the thing working. So uh, I'll come back to you in a minute. So we're going to just at the end here put sudo space r e b o o t gonna just reboot that okay not really sure why it said that it probably means it's rebooting so um, that's that at the end